But you got to understand, I think the skits and all the stuff that Country Wayne done got him to the Netflix special. Okay. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> That's what that helped now, him what get the there. Fuck, dude, now, what the fuck? It's not hard to get a Netflix special. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Say, you have another I gotta, I gotta, no, I gotta no, get I wanna, this in. I, okay, go ahead. You basically, uh, I got calls, you know, you told me it was a writer's strike. You say it's a strike. I got calls from some individuals, uh, internet savvy, say, man, our checks never did stop, man. Um, you know, um, you know, we they in trouble. I say, really? Yeah, they, the right of strike is here. What do you think about what, the what, internet? People what, what still checks? was making money. What, what? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 you saying the check checks at the, at the, the sex the, check didn't stop? No. Okay, but you guys couldn't work. These they guys continue to work. Yeah, yeah. these yeah. guys continue to work. They not making no money, bro. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> they not making no money. <laughs> But <laughs> what they call maybe Miss Money, but what I I heard Nori dumbass say some shit about Noriega. There's a door if you make fifty thousand dollars. Nigga, are you crazy? Explain what what did he say? Some door, uh, door from sucking dick in the door. Uh, he's stupid. I'm like, stop listening to these goofies. Fifty thousand dollars is no money in this business. That's real. Okay? I get it. I get it. So, and I was like, I was telling um, Scruncho, because he said, hey, man, Nori said there's a door you go to. I was like, let me tell you something, man. What door? This is, a goop. This this is, is something on the internet. That's what you're saying. No, that's what they believe in, that there's a door uh, to go through for sucking dick to be famous. But I'm like, okay. So say there's a door of, of whatever, uh, Illuminati. Why the fuck ain't Bill Gates been through that door? You niggas ain't got no money. Why the people that owned the building here didn't go through that door? It's real. So they only want low level motherfuckers that make $50,000? Don't make sense. You see what I'm saying? There's billionaires. Real billionaires. Did they go through the dick, the dick sucking door? Did they go through the door you have to get put dick dicks in your ass? You see what I'm saying? What what made Nori even what yeah, made because him? he's a goofy. What what made him say it? I don't he's I it, it, people want to believe there's this mythological door of evil to get to where you want to go to. People are just evil. You ain't gotta go to no fucking door. That's real. You gotta go through a fucking door to be evil. That's wild. Think about it. No, you can be evil without going through the door. And you can make money without going through a door. You don't have to go, you don't have to do that shit. I felt you when you said that there was another level to it when you talked about the fluffy. I did feel that because like I didn't think of it that way. The Dave Chappelle's and all those guys. Yeah. And, and and then thinking about what they're setting up for the future versus what you see when you're just doing it from a we just starting out on the internet standard. I mean, Every, but those guys, that's a springboard. I told you that last time for them to go into the business. It, yes, it is, but it's it's a to the, to them they've arrived. And nobody knows who the fuck they are. I get it. Could he go to Dodger Stadium and sell it out twice? But you got to understand, I think the skits and all the stuff that Country Wayne done got him to the Netflix special. Okay. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> That's what that helped now, him what get the there. Fuck, dude, now, what the fuck? It's not hard to get a Netflix special. But it's a thing that they feel, I mean, you got to realize people get on there. Remember how Monique, how Monique wanted to do her thing? Yes, but she's a part of that level. What level? That, I need to be on Netflix. Have you heard of Russell Peters? I haven't heard of Russell Peters. Exactly. I'm going to look him up, though. Exactly. Who is Russell Peters? He's one of the top comedians that tours the world. He's on Forbes. Okay. He was one of the first on Netflix. He took his shit off Netflix. Now he's other places. Netflix is just 
a familiar name. What does it do for you when you go on Netflix and your? What it do for uh, Country Kevin? Country Wayne. Country Kevin, Country Wayne, whatever his name is. I think you just gotta have the country as his first name, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but I'm just. I mean, do you? Does it? Does it push you like in the limelight to where it pushes you to the next level? What do you do when you? What, why did Monique want to go on there? And once she got on there, she thought that was gonna solidify her, but she didn't know she was already so there. She, yeah. It it really did expose her, expose Country Kevin. Now he's sitting on the stage looking like a Christmas tree with no jokes. No comment. Just think about it. Has it have anybody talked about Country Kevin's um It was mixed reviews on it. <laughs> Jamaica. What did you hear about it? That it wasn't good? Yeah. I, when I call, did that help him or hurt him? He's gonna. He's known for it. See, y'all, y'all going to be I'm trying to be the. I, I, mean, I gotta what? look at the. I gotta he look. He's trying to look on both sides. Yeah, yeah, because people that follow him still watching. That was they love to see it. There's because, not that many following him. So you don't think when we went, it was there's th- a he lot of people 3, following. Him. seats. Listen to me. What he filled thirty six hundred seats. Who can't? Okay, now hold on. <laughs> he's like, who can't feel that? That's what he's trying to say. <laughs> we was in Houston. I seen it. Thirty six hundred. He, he was there by himself. No, nah, uh, yeah, he had three under undercard. Four. Uh, okay. Now, he Mike had undercards. There wasn't nobody else big with him. Oh, he he was the headliner. He was the headliner. So he he filled the thirty six hundred. Yes. So he did that. Yes. You think he can go to Chicago and do that? I think he can. Has he? I don't know. No, he cannot. Why do you say Chicago? You think you, it's always something so when you, you so, say but something. Some people you, have you fans in certain to, cities and some places they that's don't. A, no, that's what I'm trying to tell you. When you're a worldwide comedian. You can go any city. Yeah. You think you go to Seattle and do that? But he has the church people. It don't matter. You got to be funny. Tyler Perry. What's that? What's that? Russell Peters Network. 75 million. And Who is that? Russell. Him. Russell Peters. Yeah. He makes 20 million a year in comedy, and most urban people never heard of him. Wow, and I had never I heard of him. I know, because you focus on country Wayne now. He's on country Kevin. <laughs> he don't do no skits. No, he just. He don't do skits? He don't do. No. He lives in Beverly Hills. He lives in Malibu. Yeah. Damn. Private. He go to his shows, private jets. Yeah. Wow. Like, wow. wow. I heard you say something too when I seen you on uh, Blad. I I, I, um, I seen you say he tried, he brought up Desi Banks and when he did, you said you took it lightly when you said acting. Are you giving that too much credibility when you say? Well, I said you have to. Why would you say that? Because these guys are trying to come up. They look at What'd you, you as the big dog. What'd you say? They trying, trying to come. What'd up. you say? So do, do the work. But you do you think you was discouraging them or encouraging them when you say what you say? Have you ever have you ever played football? Yes. Hell yeah. Do your coach say you did a great job? No. You sorry, motherfucker. Nah, he say run over him when somebody fouls. No, no, run he, over no, him. No, your your football coach say, motherfucker, if you don't get this shit right, you sitting on the bench. <laughs> they don't go, all right, come on, guys. I know you suck, but you're gonna get it one day. Sit your bitch ass down and come up here. Who want who want to run this ball? That's the the where you guys are from playing soccer and everybody mm-hmm. gets a uh, everybody wins. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, fuck that nigga. Do the work. Do the work. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.